Yes, we are going to pick up Kalle now. It's 9.45 in the morning, Wednesday. Let's pick up Kalle and head to Helsinki. Oh. How you have so much stuff? From here, everything is for this guy. So, so you are the problem, Kalle. Yes, basically. Good morning. Breakfast pick up from mom. And off we go. Porsche Carrera Cup, Benelux, Red Bull Ring. This is what we do when we wait for Kalle. What are you doing? Masterpiece. It's a rocket. <laughs> Going to the moon. How long has it been? 3 hours and 7 days. It's already Sunday, we missed the race. Yeah, yeah, we are going home now, when we get the back. Respa is closed. We should get the gear from somewhere, but nobody knows where. Oh, it's like sauna. Very good. What are we doing? I don't know. Running around the circuit with the umbrellas and soaking wet shoes. Maybe we, we can see part of Kalle's car. Quite big. Yes. And got quite brown. Yeah. It's just not, not, not so red. Because Red Bull. And talking about red, here is red flag. And the session is stopped. What feels in the rain? First session in the rain was quite tricky. Uh, we had some used tire and a uh, lot of rain, so. Not easy, but we try to improve the, the car now. And like you could see, the ambulance was going there. There was already a big crash because the condition is really tricky. So let's see. Do you think it's possible or it's too tricky? It's tricky. Yeah. I just watched the video, it's great. I don't, I don't understand. We got snow coming. 
Yes, have a nice race, Kalle. So here is the wet tire. Um, this is a used one. As you can see, we have a lot of camper on the on the circuit cars. The inside is actually quite worn out. So imagine, this is not so deep anymore. I don't know how many millimeters. Here is more. I think here is something what it will be closer to when it's new. So imagine this kind of contact pa contact patch on the road, and then full standing water equals bad time. <laughs> it's not not fun, and it's really easy to, to lose lose the car. For example, is the wet tire harder or softer? It's always softer. This one, like when you touch it, it's like uh, really soft. Even if it's used, it's like uh, you can see it's it's a soft one. The softer the rubber. The better the grip, but also the colder the, the weather will need to be. Also with normal slick tires, the harder the tire is, the more hot weather you need for the grip, and then it works better. If it's cold, you need soft tire. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Crips. This is my motor home. In this Porsche races, Chrismar is always offering us a really cool places to stay and hang out, work on the videos and, and work on whatever this guy is working on, I have no idea. Here is a bed, you can sleep here, you can work here, you can watch the TV, you can, you can uh, put Red Bull in the ice cold fridge, and then let's go this side. Here is a five star toilet. You know, you can take a massive shit on this really cool black toilet. And uh, when you when you leave the braking lines there, it's black, so you don't see it like from the from the white one. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a shower when you have been sweating in the car, you know, and then you go this side. And then there is some something you can you can use the whole car basically from this, you know, lamps, doors, lights, everything, so fancy. And then welcome to the main bedroom. This is so cool. You know, standing height on a bedroom on a car like this, luxury. Full size bed, air conditioning, lot of light during the day. It's a, it's a fresh really nice view outside you are quite high you can see over all the other people you can see the track you can watch movies in, in on the evening when you're going to sleep perfect place to stay thanks Chris Mar. a bit too wet even for a rally guy too much water and too much rain nobody's driving at the moment there is a session going on but nobody's in the on the track Okay, let's go to eat some food. It's quite late already, so it's, I'm quite hungry to be honest. So here we have this amazing Red Bull ring behind us. Big bull in the middle. Let's go there to have a Q&A &A with Artu Hanhinen. Invincibility or teleporting? Like invincibility when I want it or like for the rest of my life? When you want it. Maybe teleport. I'm not sure. That's it. That's the correct answer because we know what kind of person you are if you take the invincibility. That's that's okay. Nice choice. Now we got the food. You know, I'm gluten free. Like not fully. I don't die if I eat it, but I try to be without. And this is the most gluten free buffet you can find. Three different kind of fast. Now to the best part drinks. Do you have like uh, carbonara? Red Bull Organics. Red Bull also has this uh, brand Organics drinks. They have many kind of drinks which are not energy drinks. Also like this. We let the cameraman to take some food also. Extreme rainfall will lead to catastrophic flooding and in Austria and Czech Republic in the coming days with huge amount of rainwater falling there. You need the boat here. You need so. the boat, basically. So, the race is not a Porsche Carrera Cup anymore. 
It's a boat. Boat cup. Boat cup. They will use uh, some. What kind of boat color has? I don't know. But color is now in the briefing, so they will tell him. Yeah, that's uh, Vesa's bed for the night. We are driving with our own budget, so have to have to save the cost somewhere. Only two hotel rooms. Hotel rooms and Vesa's. Vesa's yes. room is budget. See you tomorrow, guys. So this is actually quite nice. So here you can see bed, double layer, I don't know, fire extinguisher, and trash can. So the next morning. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Hey, what? Where's Vessa? Oh shit, we forgot Vessa. I think we need to pick him. Vessa. 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 This guy has been standing here for quite a long time, I think. Uh, this must be his friend. Yeah. This must be his friend. Yeah, like Some nice stuff. Mm -hmm. What did you buy? Airplugs. Airplugs. Air, airplugs, yes. Nice. And got some proper money back. Nice. Two cents and one cents. Where are we going? We are going to go to the shop. Yes, your, your, your trolley is here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. How many do you want for something? I drink zero. Zero? This is yes. zero. Yeah, but zero Coca-Cola. This is zero, so you can drink this. No. Huh? Zero means I don't drink, drink any. Yes. I drink just sparkling water. And longer. Shopping done. Yes. Cart full of stuff. <laughs> Does it close? Let's see. <gasps> nice. You take that. I drive because you are so bad. No. I drive. Back again. Last free practice is now done. Um, quite okay feeling. I think last time I checked we were P4. Not too bad considering I didn't really get the cleanest lap. We tried many things with the car and stuff. The seat time with, with the fresh wet tires has been really bad. Only basically two sessions. So now when I just kept driving and uh, kept, let's say, learning the car and the driving, not focusing so much on the setup, it was actually better I could do some good laps. So in that sense, um, more practice would have been better, but now now it's done. Tomorrow we have Kuali in probably really tricky conditions. Two fresh set of tires need to execute it well, so that's gonna be the ne next uh, task. Oh, it's a good
Ja buita. As you can see, the guys are working on the setup of the car because it's not raining anymore. We were expecting rain for, for today also. It's Saturday and next session is qualifying. I have never driven any dry laps on this track. So my first dry lap, if it stays like this, will be in qualifying. Um, it, it's not going to be easy session for me. Um, but yeah, that's how it is. Now we put some setup in the car, which we think can be pretty okay on, uh, on the dry. And uh, let's see how the weather will be then in the Guali in, in one hour. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. Qualifying done, tricky session like I said, first time on the dry, um, then it started to drizzle like maybe 10 minutes after, like the first tire set was dry and then it was drizzling the whole end of the session. Um, I think I maybe still managed to make a good time, like second for the second race. Need to be quite okay with P2, but I didn't feel so good when coming, coming out from the track, I felt I couldn't maximize the the, the performance to be honest not easy to extract everything from for a for a good lap on a session like this but yeah p2 anyway not too bad what did That's you not say? a question i didn't say you are <laughs> stay behind your back <laughs> because uh, the front rise was all the time like yeah. first set yes so when you drove out basically there was a bit of a great drop off i need to wait the front on the exit to the end of the lap to the checkered flag where it happened. This was Norris over the curve, skateboarding. Oh, come on, come on. Clap of your choice. Yeah, you can choose the pattern yeah, yeah. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, Norris.
Come on, let's fucking go. P1. Again. Not bad. Crazy conditions on the track. Um, the race was was red flagged at the end, too much rain. But yeah, we start P2. First corner, I had a really good start. First corner, I already almost uh, overtook him. Then he went wide, came back in front of me, and then P3. Uh. Then P3, uh, turn three, I overtook took the lead. And everyone. <laughs> So, yes, then turn three, first lap I I again uh, went from the outside, had a really good run out of the corner, took P1 and then capped everybody. I wasn't taking even any risk. Every time I saw the P2 guy on the mirrors all the time, if he was closer, I push a bit more to make the cap. I could control the pace and the cap how I wanted, so really, really good pace on these tricky conditions. Happy with the rest. Now we are in the best uh, part of the day. Dinner. Eating is always the most important and best part of the day. Lunch and dinner. Nice one. Well, the wind is crazy. Looks like proper storm. So, see you guys tomorrow. I will sleep outside. They kicked me out of the hotel lobby. Good morning. Or actually, not really good morning. Might be no, no race today. Miro, as the promoter, and he's really skeptical. A lot. A lot. But the race is around 12. Yes. What do you think? The weather looks nice. I think we are going to fly soon. Miro, how do you feel? Well, the race too. Feel good. We have the weatherman over here. Yeah. And now you're gonna go uh, on a tour with our weather guy, Artu Hanhinen. But he's the main man. Up all Mr. Meteorologist. How does it look? Looking good. So that is the official announcement of the weather. Nice. Is it raining or not? A bit. Did you read the clouds? You did some rain dances? No. I heard from Miro that you did. No, I checked the weather like this. Calling cars, delayed. Okay. Okay. Oh, our friends at Unibet need, needs to get a new umbrella for us. Well, I guess you don't need it. But I guess we don't need it. The race is on! It's not raining anymore! Yes, Artu is sending us the coordinates of the clouds. <laughs> yeah. He's reading the frogs or some, some kind of, or wh whatever rain dance he's doing, but it looks like we're, ra we're racing. Sun is shining. Not for long. <laughs> That's the grey stuff. Grey stuff? Yeah. This one. With the shoe. Or maybe it's not. This is liquid. This ah, is like. Okay.
ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ Very well after. Sorry about that. No problem. Very easy. Short rest, nice rest. Short rest. Yeah, after that, not so bad. Race 2 is now done. Um, pretty different weather. The track I was not raining at all. Everybody started with wet tires. Track was only damp in the in the beginning, so yeah, it was quite clear that the whole session or the whole race will be about keeping also the tire in a, in a good window, uh, not to kill it too much. And uh, yeah, I had a, again, really, really good pace on the car in the start. Uh, I went from fourth to, to second on, I think, like three corners. He blocked me well, let's say. He, he kept, uh, kept my space quite uh, narrow. And then I went on the outside um, and just spun off the track. Um, I couldn't really dive into the corner. When, when he was blocking me, so he did a good move to block me, then I spun on the gravel. Um, always difficult to get out from the gravel pit when you are stopped like that, so that was already good that I got out from there, really careful with the clutch and throttle to get out. And then, yeah, just 30 minutes of flat out driving after that, trying to keep the tire in good condition and had a lot of overtakes. Really good training for me, to be honest, because I haven't been doing them so much, so at the end, yeah, really disappointed for sure. We had a pace for P1 again, but then uh, we didn't waste the session. I didn't get stuck and out of the race, so I could still finish. Uh, made a lot of overtakes, nice racing with, with all the guys, so really good practice for that. Also, how to keep the tire alive on this kind of condition. So, let's say for sure not happy with the result. Team did a good job again. Uh, we found and found a fast car for the weekend. We did a lot of work on short period of time. Uh, I wasted the P1 myself, but then at least we got something after that. So it's a nice, nice piece of racing. Thank you for the great stay. Let's see if the planes even fly today. Let's see. So heavy wind. Heavy wind. Oh, look, and there's like flood. This is water. This, yeah, I think that's supposed to be like field, because there's hay bales in. Could be. Yeah, so this is why we are a bit stuck here in the traffic. Yes. You can show the alert what you got in the phone now. Yes, Edit. It's a screenshot. Right. But okay. the lane coming this way is totally stopped. You can yes. see it from here. Yes. Who is here? Yeah. Boy. What happened? Why? Why is this cancelled? It's really nice. Helsinki. Cancelled, cancelled, gate info, gate info. We'll see. Now it's delayed. Might, might to... be so called 
20. Might be so-called Vini Vinissa. <laughs> <laughs>